What's up, YouTube? So, we're going to do another discussion today. These are five goals that you should have for Yo-Yo in 2018. Let's get into them. So, five goals you should have for Yo-Yo in 2018. It's important to be sort of active in the Yo-Yo community and just sort of active in Yo-Yo as a hobby in general. It'll keep you engaged. It'll keep you engaged in the community. It'll help the community grow. And it's just fun. Period. It's fun. You're going to have fun. I promise every one of these goals that I'm going to give you is fun. None of it's a chore. It's all super fun. So let's get right into it. So uh, the first goal that you need to have is to attend a Yo-Yo contest. What do you mean attend a Yo-Yo contest? There's tons of Yo-Yo contests. Uh, Pacific Northwest Regionals is going on right now in Seattle. Uh, if you're in that area, you should totally try to go, be there. Hopefully you did go if you live anywhere near there. And uh, it looked like a lot of fun. I watched a lot of the live stream. And uh, I was kind of busy today, though. I, I watched a good bit of it on my phone. Um, but uh, it was it was it it looked good. I, I enjoyed it. Watched uh, Actually, for whatever reason, watched a good bit of the trick ladder. But anyway, go to a contest. Uh, why should you go to a contest? Because you get to meet other throwers. And that's part of the fun. Um, you find contests by being involved in the Facebook groups, on Reddit, um, just, you know, following Throws and Brews on Facebook as well. I will link to contests, I'll link to live streams, and uh, my buddy over at Offroad Yo-Yo always has the contest list, whatever's coming up. So go to offroadyoyo.com as well. That link's down in the description because uh, Kyle does an amazing job uh, giving you the most up-to-date information. Dude is incredible. Um, and it's really a great resource, and I really think more people you need to use it because he does a fantastic job. He works really hard, and he does a really good job. But figure out what contest is close to you. Uh, if you live in the Pittsburgh area, East Coast Masters is coming up on March 17th at the Ace Hotel in East Liberty. Um, if you live anywhere near Pittsburgh, you want to come. Period. You just do. Uh, message me on message me message Throws and Brews on Facebook. Send me an email, whatever. I will send you a link for the invite. And you can totally come and hang out. It's going to be a great contest. Uh, you can participate if you want. Uh, cash prizes. You can totally win money. Like it, it, even if you like drive in really far, like it's probably worth your while. Probably worth the money. Um, and it's just going to be a good contest. Uh, but attend a contest. That's that's probably number one. That's going to be my number one thing to recommend for you to have as a goal in 2018. Go to a contest. Any contest at all. I've been to several, and every one I've ever been to has been incredibly fun. You make tons of friends, and you get to hang out with people who you maybe have only chatted with online, uh, learn yo-yo tricks, watch amazing yo-yo tricks, and meet some of your heroes. Like, I've met professional yo-yo players at every contest I've ever been to, and uh, they're really cool guys as well. So, definitely the number one thing you want to try to do, if you don't do any of these other things, go to a contest. It's awesome, but you should do all these things. Seriously. So anyway, that's number one. Number two, try a new yo-yo brand. Um, so what do I mean by this? So let's say maybe you've got a bunch of yo-yo factory and magic yo-yo, and you've been playing for about a year or so, and that's really all you look at because you think that's all you can afford, or you know, that's that's just what you go for is yo-yo factory, magic yo-yo. You're happy with those. Um, try a new yo-yo brand this year. Um, if you're into sort of the very budget stuff, look at Topio. Uh, I think Topio does amazing stuff in that budget range, right around where Yo-Yo Factory and Magic Yo-Yo put their yo-yos price-wise. You know, if you're into boutique stuff, check out a new boutique brand. Those seem to pop up all the time, uh, and a lot of them are really fantastic. Uh, if you haven't tried an unspoken yo-yo yet, I'm going to recommend you try one of those. Same thing with either a G-Squared or a 2-Sick. Um, one drop. I don't know if you haven't tried a one drop. I don't know how you haven't tried a one drop yet, and you're subscribed to my channel. But um, try those brands because those guys really put a lot of time, effort, thought, and they really put out nice yo-yos. Um, so I would say try a new brand this year. Just give it a shot. Uh, you know, if you stick to Yo-Yo Factory or if you stick to, you know, just maybe a couple certain core brands like Yo-Yo Factory or Duncan or whatever. Try something new. Try try a boutique brand. Try 
one of the newer sort of like budget brands or core brands just to see if they may, you know, maybe they have something that you'll like. Maybe you'll really get into it. But uh, check them out. Lots of good brands like that are available on Yo-Yo Best Buy or Yo-Yo Expert. Uh, and those are great places to buy from. Um, great people. Really nice guys. And great service. Try a new brand. It's really cool. It's fun. I, I have like, gosh, I must have 30 or 40 different brands of yo-yos. And uh, it's, everybody brings something different to the table. And I really got to say that, like, there's really... I haven't played many terrible ones. Most of them are pretty good. Most of them are pretty unique. And everybody kind of brings their own thing. So uh, I really appreciate that about Yo-Yo. Is everybody sort of brings their own little corner of how they think about Yo-Yo to Yo-Yo design and their own unique Yo-Yo brands. So I would really recommend trying a new Yo-Yo brand in 2018. Uh, if you have trouble picking one, Go through my, uh, I've got a handy dandy list of yo-yo reviews uh, on the main page for the Throws and Brews channel. Just go through. See what might appeal to you. See if you can't pick one of those up. I try to do yo-yo reviews as often as possible. At least two a week. That's kind of a lot. Two yo-yos every week? Like, come on. It's a lot of yo-yos. Um, so try to check that out. Um, but that's going to be number two. Number three. Try to do something within yo-yo that you've never ever done now that can mean trying a new style maybe you've never played fixed axle before throughout fixed axle february which is about to end and you need to enter the contest if you have not entered the fixed axle february contest yet um throughout this february uh, i've bothered a lot of people to be like hey enter fixed axle february enter the contest i was shocked at how many people had never really played with fixed axle yo-yos before um now, as kind of an older guy, I'm not that old, but like, you know, as a guy in my 30s, I, you know, was in middle school and sort of high school, and that's when I played with yo-yos, and fixed axles were kind of a big thing, like the Tom Coon and BC stuff was at mall kiosks, so I had a lot of that, and that's actually what I preferred as a kid. Unresponsive, large ball-bearing yo-yos didn't exist yet, and ball-bearing yo-yos in, in general cost like 30 plus to like $100 at the time, so I didn't really have any of those because I didn't really have much of an income and it was like the 90s and that's just, that was a lot of money in the 90s and I was, you know, into video games and stuff as well, but I had all these fixed axle yo-yos that I loved and I love them to this day, I mean, I show you guys all the time my, my BC collection, it's, it's fantastic, a lot of it's really still from like 96 through 98 and love it, love that stuff, but uh Try something new. Um, now that can be fixed axle, like I said, it can be a new style. You could try 4A, try 5A, you know, try some 2A, do some looping. Looping was like the thing when I was a kid. Uh, I know a lot of guys who swear, like my buddy Brett, this, he just came up on a year of doing 2A, and man, is he like loving it. He's super into it, and he is super good at it in like one year. So, I mean, it's really something that can be kind of like just sort of invigorating and can kind of renew your love for yo-yo to try like a new style. Uh, additionally, like if you something like if you've never wound a string before, like wound your own string, try doing that. Uh, there's a lot of guys on the hashtag string makers or string makers Reddit that wind their own strings, and you see a lot of these boutique string companies popping up, just trying to do like very unique things with their yo-yo strings and. A lot of it's really good. Um, I've tried to review as many of them as I possibly can. Those guys who want to send me string. And uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've had a lot of fun trying different things. Um, zip lines are still my favorite. Uh, check out zip line strings. There's a link in the description. Um, so, you know, if you're going to go for a boutique brand, check out Zipline. Because, one, he does my colors. And, two, man, is man are they good. That's what I use 95 percent of the time maybe more than that even and uh but try to wind your own it's it's pretty fun there's a lot of tutorials online i'm not gonna do a tutorial i don't i've done it before but i'm not not that into it but you know try that as well uh but try something new in 2018 uh don't just stick on unresponsive 1a try something else do 2a do 3a 4a 5a fixed axle wind a string do something like that i promise you you'll have a good time
at least you'll have a good time, right? Um, so that's number three. Number four, try to learn one new trick every month. I get stuck on this, but I've been really trying to learn at least one new trick every month. Um, whether it's at Yo-Yo Club or at, you know, watching the Yo-Tricks. Yo-Tricks is great because they put out like a new tutorial every Friday for 1A, like pretty much on the money every Friday. And it's usually pretty learnable. Like some of them are pretty tough, but at the same time they're not like overly difficult to where you can't pick them up in a weekend. And I really, really like Yo-Tricks for that because... You know, even if I don't learn a whole trick, I'll at least be able to pull a few elements, and there's always tricks to go back to. So I really like that. I really appreciate what Yotrix does because I think they're fantastic, and they're great guys too. Um, I've had the pl very pleasant opportunity to talk to a lot of them, and they're just they're just great guys. And you know, they're great guys. They hold a great, they have a great channel, and they have great stuff on their site. So you know, you can buy from Yotrix too, and. Uh, they have recommendations and things like that, and I think they're pretty spot on because they're a great company and they're great people. So, you know, shout out to Yotrix. I don't shout out to them enough, but they're great people too. Uh, Yotrix and Yo-Yo Expert, really, like, they're sort of the, like, the core of learning how to yo-yo. And I appreciate them for that, and I really look up to them and I really like them. Um, but I do tutorials too, so you may want to check out those on the main page of the Throws and Brews YouTube page because there's tutorials down there. There's a whole playlist of them. And they're all really easy, because I'm not very good. Austin helps too, and he's a lot better than me, but still. Good stuff. Fixed axle stuff in there too. Check it out. Um, shameless self-plug. Uh, so yeah, one new trick a month. Do it. You'll have fun. I promise. At least one. Do four, but at least one. Um, last thing, and if you don't have the means, maybe you don't have to do this, but most yo-yos are inexpensive. Give a yo-yo to somebody. It can be anybody. You can pop into Ollie's and get a pro yo for two bucks, carry it around, and if you, you know, you have it on your person because it's your everyday carry extra yo-yo, and somebody says, oh man, you're playing yo-yo, I used to play yo-yo as a kid, and you hand them your pro yo, and they throw your pro yo a little bit, and they're like, oh man, I forgot how fun this was. You can tell them to keep it. It was two bucks. You know? So, even if you only give out one this year, give somebody a yo-yo. Anybody, just give them a yo-yo. Just be like, here's a yo-yo. Even if it's one of yours that you don't use anymore, give somebody a yo-yo. I promise you, it'll make you feel better, and it'll make that person more interested in playing yo-yo than really any of these other things are going to do. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to be happy with yourself. That person's going to be happy, and it, it feels good to make other people happy. And, maybe you get that person into yo-yo. Maybe you've made a friend. Uh, you know, when you give them a yo-yo, go ahead and point them towards my channel as well. I will encourage them to buy more yo-yos. But, uh, I feel like that's really a goal you should have for 2018, is to just give somebody a yo-yo. Anybody? Anybody at all? Give them a yo-yo. It doesn't have to be an expensive yo-yo. Just give somebody a yo-yo. Kid. Maybe an adult, maybe your dad, maybe your mom, maybe your brother or sister, maybe some kid you meet at Yo-Yo Club who's just there trying to learn. Anybody, just give somebody a Yo-Yo. It'll make you feel good and it'll make that person feel good. and It'll all just be good. Who's like good? Anyway guys, that's going to do it for me today. Hope everybody has a awesome Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I do videos every day. Thanks for watching, though. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.